Hello, I'm John Dowd with the law offices of John G. Dowd, and we're here today to talk about buying and selling a business. There are a number of ways you can structure the transaction. Uh, you can do it as an asset purchase agreement. If it's a corporation, you can buy the stock of that entity. If it's a limited liability company, you could buy the membership of the LLC. Other options are to do a like-kind exchange. Sometimes uh, people will buy the stock but make a tax election to treat it as an asset purchase agreement. And there are several tax advantages to doing it in that manner. Tax implications require a good tax lawyer, CPA, or both. Surprisingly, if you model the sale of the business multiple ways as a potential buyer, one model usually jumps out as the best for both buyer and seller. Purchase price negotiations can be resolved in numerous ways. If the parties are far apart, perhaps an earnout is the answer. Uh, a buyer does not want to buy a pig in a polk, so if you base the purchase price on the post-closing earnings, that's a way for both the buyer and seller to meet their expectations. Allocation of purchase price can make or break a deal. The components typically are goodwill, covenants not to compete, consulting agreements, or employment agreements. If the buyer is a group of individuals, they will need to have a shareholder agreement, a buy-sell agreement, or an operating agreement that covers the ownership and owner departure issues. A few things that buyers don't typically think about are checking the workers' compensation rates and the unemployment insurance benefit rating of the target business. Pension liability issues is another hot button. Prepaid services that need to be fulfilled or you may lose the contract or the client are another issue. Employee sick leave, vacation time, credit for years of service are all items that have to be taken into consideration when you get into the details of buying a business. Remember, the more you plan, the more you save. The more you save, the more you keep. Thank you for watching this tip of the week from the offices of John Dowd.